Kim Dawson, will be your host for this edition of 20th Century Fox. Even though spring has been here for quite a while, you'll notice that some of our segments have snow. I hope that by the time you see this, we'll be through with the snow till next winter. Now, on with the show. Kim, what's been happening with middle school news? Back in March, we had our second annual International Foods Day. Everyone got to sample some kind of food from a foreign country. Represented were China, Greece, Israel, India, Chile, Hungary, Fiji, West Africa, and Italy. Our reporters were there. Let's see how everybody liked it. Hi, I'm Sharon Brady, and today is International Foods Day, and we're, we will be walking around the Unified Arts Area and asking people what these good smells are and what they think of the, the cooks on International Foods Day. Jenny, even though you're a student at Fox Lane Middle School, how does it feel to be a presenter on International Foods Day? I think it's a lot of fun when you're able to share, when I'm able to share something that I do with other people. And what did you cook for the kids today? I cooked challah, which is Jewish bread, which is traditionally eated, eaten on Friday nights, which is Shabbat, and on holidays. Thank you. International Foods Day? I think it's great. It, it's a day that to let us, all, all the students, like, get a taste for the foods around the world. What did you make? Uh, we're making curry something. chicken. Curry chicken huh? Was it good? We haven't tried it yet. What do you think of International Foods Day? <laughs> I think it's great. How about me? What did you make? We made beef and broccoli and we had rice with it. Is it good? Yes. Is it easy to eat with the chopsticks? If you know how, yes. Can I see how you do it? <laughs> Are there And I'm Alison Metcalf, and I'm interviewing Elise Terlizzi for International Foods Day. Elise, what country did you go to? Greece. And what did you have to eat? Stuffed grape leaves. Um, were they good? Yes, very good. Do you have any right now? Yes. <laughs> and what did you have to eat? We're making um, monkey nut soup and hot fresh salad. Did you try it? Was it good? Yeah, really good. I like the monkey nut soup. Craig, what country did you go to? India. Did you like the food you had? Yeah, it was all right. What was it? It was called um, Alu Tikwi Ama. How do you like the food on International Food Day? Terrific. <laughs> Over 150 middle school students were involved in the sellout production, Joseph and his amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, scenes from Cats and Jesus Christ Superstar. Let's look at some of the great moments in the production.
afternoon at the gym in February. Let's see some of the action from the student faculty basketball game played that day. East House did something very special with Geo Money this year. They have adopted a child. Their money will help support Javier Castadoni, a boy from Argentina. On May 4th, we'll be having another inter-house dance. The turnout should be great, as it usually is. West House seventh graders were involved in their own drama production in March. Here are some scenes from that play and Scott Genzer to explain the details. Theater consultant Karen DeMora worked with the entire 7th grade team to create this musical play. The script was improvised by the students, and the theme for the show was mythology. It was about a teenage girl who runs away, finds shelter in New York City, and dreams about several myths, through which she finds some help. This lively program was performed for all the 6th graders of the West. The feature of this show is about math and birds. We follow Miss Boynton's PSEN math class through a project that involved both a perfect spring subject. Hi, I'm John David Bamford, and if you have ever seen a bluebird, you are really lucky, even though not many years ago, they were quite common sights in this area. As you can see, they are pretty little birds with bright blue feathers on their back and wings and bright orange on their tummies. These birds are vanishing from the earth. Early this spring, a group of middle school students from Mrs. Boynton's PSCN math classes began a project that may help save them from being extinct. Our group joined others all over the country interested in saving the birds. The project is called the Bluebird Trail, which will extend all through Westchester and Putnam County. Our students put their math to practical use by building special houses to specific measurements. With the help of Mr. Turco and Wil Ms. Dr. Wiltsey, each kid made his own house. Bluebirds are very fussy about where they live, and their biggest problem is a serious housing shortage. They don't like cities, crowded suburbs, and hate forests of deep shade, but they do like open spaces with not too many trees. With Mr. Steele's help, they investigated all the places around campus and decided where the best place to put them would be. Our group got all the houses together, all 18 of them, and set off to put them in their pre-marked trees. Each student put up their own house and helped other kids with putting up theirs. Soon the birds will be arriving to take up residence, and each student is going to be responsible for monitoring their bluebird house to make sure that only bluebirds live there and other nests have to be taken out and other birds chased away. We think this is a really nice thing to do for the bluebirds and we're going to keep track to see if we have any baby bluebirds on campus. Next show, we'll give you an update on our bluebird trail. Our speak out section this month is risky. We asked the question, what do you think of 20th Century Fox TV edition? John Aronson was our questioner. What do you think of 20th Century Fox? It's pretty good, you get out of some classes to watch it though. Do you have any suggestions that might make it better? Um, longer, I guess. What part of the show do you like the best? Um, I don't know. I like the whole thing. Okay, thank you. What do you think of 20th Century Fox? Oh, I think it's pretty good. It lets you know what's going on around the school and everything. Do you have any suggestions that might make it better? Um, 
Yeah, it, it, it could have more comedy. What is your favorite part of the show? Um, when they tell you about movies and like when they um, they test kids to see what they could do, like with the garbage can when they knocked it over. What part of the show do you like the best? I like the part where they show like what we did around school, like school dances and plays that we did. I like the movie reviews. I like both those things. Do you have any suggestions that might make it better? Yeah, the guy, the intellect guy who does the movie reviews, get, get somebody better. The favorite part of the show is when I'm on it. <laughs> what do you think of 20th Century Fox? 20th Century Fox is the finest magazine of any middle school in this country. Bill Plessinger is doing the movie reviews this month. He's going to take a look at Footloose and Splash. Footloose, a box office smash, is about a city kid in a little town which, because the minister's son was killed in an auto accident, forbids dancing and loud music. When Ren, who is a city boy, finds out, he's determined to do something about it. With his friends, he rebels against the town authorities and organizes a school dance. Kevin Bacon stars as the rebellious young man Ren. The dance scenes are great. We think this movie is terrific and would rate it a 9 on a rating scale of 1 to 10. Now Splash, not the box office success. This one's a comedy, one about Alan Bauer, played by Tom Hanks, who falls in love with a mermaid named Madison, who's played by Daryl Hannah. This unlikely relationship starts when Madison rescues Alan from drowning while he's a little boy. Twenty years later, she rescues him again, but this time she discovers that she really likes him. She tracks him down to New York City, and in this scene, she, she get, has a lot of problems in the bathtub. Madison? Alex? <laughs> yeah, of course, Alan. What are you doing, sweetheart? Now let's see what happens in a restaurant. This movie is good, and on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give Splash an 8. Now let's have a word from Gia. It's a big bun. It's a big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Ladies, I can tell you where you can find the beef and find it for less. How do you do that and where? Using your GEO card, you can find the beef at Stewart's Market, Bedfield's Deli, and the Triangle Deli. Where's the GEO card? Oh, I forgot to tell you. They're not for sale anymore. Oh, come on, Marvin. Let's get out of here. You got your geo card. Use it. Now let's take a look at some of the latest middle school fads with Tammy and Patty. We don't think we have to say much about fads because you only have to take a look with us to see what's new, from Michael Jackson to dressing up in a suit for school. We had lots of fun taping you all. Keep up being in style, and we'll get you in our sights. <laughs> 